who work in the field of da'wah, their children and their relatives are sometimes, a lot of the times, inspired by other, other people now. Well, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing, yeah. yeah. Phenomenon, it is. No. Well, I, I, I want to tell you a true story. Here in London, mm -hmm. there was a brother who came to me one day, uh, older than me, and he, he gave, a few years ago, and he gave me a big hug in the masjid. He said, I used to hate you. I used to hate you. But wallahi, I have to apologize to you. I said, oh, subhanAllah, I said, khair, uh, inshallah, it's okay, it's fine, you know, so, uh, I don't let things, you know. So he said, no, I want to tell you what happened. My son's on drugs for so many years. He's actually, a, you know, really lost case, no salah, no nothing for many years. And he says, I, I actually tried so hard. I took him to South Africa. I took him to South Africa. I took him to, you know, here, there. And you know what? Nothing helped him. I tried with this sheikh, that sheikh, nothing helped him. He said, one day, I'm cutting the story short, one day, he, he told me, Dad, I'm joining you for Salat al-Maghrib. And he came to the masjid, Salat al-Isha. He said, I was so scared to ask him. He says, he came for Salat al-Fajr. After Fajr, we, he sat with me and we were having tea. And I told him, son, you know, tell me, mashallah, I'm so happy. He says, I was listening to a talk by Mufti Me. Now that's like the dad's enemy, you know. Yeah. He says, and, you know, uh, the guy says, uh, it's, it's time. It's about time you, guy, you quit. And he says, I think he's right. And that's it. So he says, you know what, Allah used you. For my child, mm -hmm. I said, "Wallahi, it's it's not me, it's Allah." So I learned, and and he learned that, and I learned as well. Sometimes we might not agree 100% with someone on certain matters, mm -hmm. but Allah may use that person to do work you could have never done. Mm -hmm. We just we need to support each other. We are, we are wherever there is, there are matters. I always like to, I mean, these guys know me. I always like to address matters, uh, tackle them, you know, if we can, with our friends in private, so to speak, rather than expose and make it like. You know, a huge uh, fitna and so no. on. But alhamdulillah, one thing I must say is your approach, uh, Sheikh uh, Mufti, uh, is really, uh, it's really a very good approach. I think there's legitimacy. There is, uh, there is, you know, it's evidence based, and at the same time, it's. Uh, it's very balanced. So, mashallah, mabrook. May Allah, Thank you, Sheikh. May Allah grant you lots of growth Amen. and still. And, and as time passes, you know, we, 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 we tend to expand in our in our way. Mm -hmm. The message will never change, but the way we we actually, uh, you know, portray it will actually keep uh, up to the times. Mm -hmm. Sheikh. But it's a powerful message. Thank you, Sheikh. It means a lot. It means a lot. We try. That's Maybe. nothing else. Well, sorry. Yeah, Allah must yeah. There's not Allah much we have, easy. you know. And I've realized sometimes people misunderstand and sometimes people uh, take things out of context. Some of them genuine, genuinely they don't, you know, they have a uh, misunderstanding. And sometimes it's not so genuinely, sometimes it's just a swipe. You've got to be... A swipe. It's just a swipe. Mm -hmm. And the swipes happen for many reasons. I want to tell you my experience. I mean, I'm 45 years old. I don't, I'm not too sure how old you are. But and I've got 10 kids, walillahi alhamdulillah minna. Uh, been in the field for about, uh, since 1999, 2000. And what I've learned is, uh, you know, uh, the field of da'wah is a very, very, uh, it's, it's a very tricky field because Allah tests you from every angle until you realize and you know clearly that it's only Allah who you owe yourself to completely, totally. And that's what it is. And the idea is we, we should have and we do have a feeling for all people, those who are sinful, those who are not, those who are honest, those who think like us, those who don't. We care for every one of them. So if you care for everyone, you respect everyone, you actually uh, put yourselves in their shoes, you try to reach out to them. I always tell people, I'm so excited when I'm given the opportunity to preach to people who are totally out, you know. And when I'm preaching to the preached, I don't get that kick. You know, yeah. that's why they say, oh, you went into this masjid, that. I said, look, guy, I'll go to any masjid because <coughs> the idea is to talk to the guys. Yeah. You know, I'm not, it's, and then people use the term al wala wal bara to try and tell you you're not allowed to go here. I said, listen, this is da'wah. Da'wah is totally different from al wala wal bara. I'm going in to do something. I'm not going into little, you know. So, uh, Allah and drink tea and fraternize yeah. I'm going for a message but in order to get the message across and it's it's very clear but Allah make it easy. I found uh, and I'm not saying it because it's you uh, in front of me uh, this was even before I even uh, before I knew I would meet you I felt within myself that uh, this is a brother who actually uh, is a breath of fresh air simply because of the way the way 
things that go forward. Mm -hmm. May Allah make it easy. May Allah make it easy.